the people, friends who are watching this interview or who will watch on YouTube. It is meeting of two friends, lovers of Osho. Marshila is also love Osho. And people who misunderstood her, I would like to invite, uh, request them to read her book, Don't Kill Him. The, especially the last chapter of this book is very touching, where he has said that the moment she got the news that Bhagwan had left his body, the media, she could not believe it. I, I could not believe it. Same thing happened to me when we got the news that Bhagwan had left the body. She could not believe. I could not believe. Then the, immediately the same idea came to both of our mind that it was not a death. He had been killed. That she has written. And there we, we have similar view. Uh, we both love Bhagwan. We are madly in love with Bhagwan. I would like to make it clear because uh, Sandesh has introduced me as a guru. I am not guru. I am just a student of meditation. Uh, I call myself uh, postman of Osho. I carry his love letter and wherever I see a potential soul, I deliver Osho's love letter. And then you, in relation is simply between you and Osho. The postman duty is finished. So I consider myself a postman and a student of his teaching, a humble student of meditation and his teaching. I'm nobody's guru, no? So that should be clear very much because many of my our friends are in uh, this guru uh, trip. So I don't belong to that master. Let, let me uh, make it clear to you. Uh, Marshila loves Osho in a different way. I love Osho in a different way, but we are both madly in love with Osho. He has suffered much. Uh, people, I will request again to read this book. Uh, because of Caesar suffered for whom? For us. So for creating a Buddha field, Rajni's freedom for Osho disciple. That was a great dream of Osho to make a city of meditators where original idea was that 100,000 meditators could settle down and give, could live together and meditate together, dropping their prejudice, their mind, their nationality, their religion. They should be just human being, loving human being. So that was the greatest idea. And I think that was the biggest ex experiment which happened in last century uh, in the world, a creation of Rajesh Puram. Already 5,000 people had settled down forever. And there used to be 20,000 visitors, 20 to 30,000 visitors during celebration time. I had the first one to attend two celebrations in 83 and 85. And I have seen the magic of Oso Sanyashi. Uh, they have created a oasis uh, in America. They have created a, a magical city in a desert. In Oregon is a desert. Uh, all over there's a, just a stone and sands. And they have, they, they, uh, our, uh, also lovers have created a paradigm. And the commander in chief of that force was Marsila. Under her command, the people had worked and they have created a magic. You know? uh, see, the, um, I, I respect Marsila for her devotion to Osho. Uh, she had to suffer. Uh, she was in jail for 37 months. I feel very sorry for that because. It was not for any personal reason. It was uh, for creating a paradise on the earth, creating a Rajesh uh, She is an alcoholic. She worked during the celebration day. She used to work seven days a week. No, the, she was forced to sleep. No, people used to give her medicine to sleep. She was such a she is such a alcoholic lady that she used to work so hard. And uh, in, the, in Pune and uh, Rajiv Puram, where she was Bhagwan's secretary, uh, 
she also forced us to work very hard we are we, we were working also under her command we were also working you no know? so our love is to we love osho but our type is different she is alcoholic she kriya yogi she has work uh, she believe in working and creating things i am a devotion a disciple of osho and i love uh, through my heart and nepal is a country simple people so we do lot of devotional songs and our bhajans and kirtan uh, so our styles are different but uh, our aradhya guru is same osho and we are madly in love with osho nobody should think that uh, sila has dropped osho i know her through book and uh, whenever i met her i have seen a great love for osho in pula oif oif those who consider themselves successor of osho they have removed osho picture from the ashram from what to talk about their room they have uh, removed osho picture from the ashram they are the successor of they call themselves successor of osho and uh, i found in her switzerland uh, old man ashram i will call it in every room there was also a picture even in sila bedroom i saw also a picture uh, so mm, her love for osho is, is, is our style is different uh, but we both are in madly love with a master uh, whom who is a very controversial master and uh, sila has written i i will quote her word she has written that he is misunderstood and he could be understood only through love and devotion i 100% agree with you sila uh, uh, i will add one thing more meditation huh? love devotion because i am a meditator love devotion and meditation he could be understood only through love devotion but love and devotion is primary thing because i have seen many meditators the seasoned meditators but still they don't say a word against uh, the so many uh, uh, bad design which is done against osho no they don't speak a word so i agree sila with you even love and devotion is a higher value than meditation i 100% agree with you thank you sir thank you it is my time to say something what i want to say is don't get confused in words whether it is devotion meditation or being yourself for me it is all the same it is my experience bhagwan had a dream and this dream was to create a community where people from all different walks of life can live together without difference they remain together and engage themselves in creative work which we did i would have been most happy to hear that bhagwan's brother shailesh who had studied medicine was helping in corona crisis and taking care of people then sitting in bhagwan's clothes trying to pretend like bhagwan for me it is a waste of time and massive disrespect for bhagwan people have to remain active people have to create for themselves and live a creative lifestyle that is what i have learned from bhagwan this is what i do that for me 
don't miss Bhagwan's teachings by going one way or the other. What is right for you is the right thing. You begin conversation, um, I understood from the young men that uh, they want to understand why this corruption around Bhagwan. It was bound to be. It was bound to be. Understand that these people who are around Bhagwan after my departure, they were administering drugs on Bhagwan. They had full control of Bhagwan's uh, through drugs. That was the reason I left when I found out. They were maybe pawns of some politi uh, politicus, politicians. And they came with the agenda to break up the community. They did that. But how many sannyasins are ready to see the truth with open eyes? They think Bhagwan accuses Sheila of all kinds of nonsense. If they don't say yes to Bhagwan's nonsense, they will lose their meditation. They will lose their uh, surrender. Be intelligent. We were proud to call ourselves intelligent sannyasins around Bhagwan. Try not to be stupid. And Controversy, no matter where you go, will continue. Stop judging and reflect upon your own motives. Why are you there? Why? What are you seeking? If you are seeking truth, go after it. If you want to demolish corruption, be brave, talk about it, and confront it. Meditation won't bring you to that point. And people who are occupying the Puna Ashram, they are not meditators. They are same as Shiv Sena. They are same corrupt people. They may be taking help of Shiv Sena to maintain their control. But instead of talking about it, do something. And if you cannot do something, don't complain about it. Arun, you are right. We are two different people. Yes, yes. Male yes. and female. <laughs> 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 one who believe that meditation is lazy man business and I am that businessman. I am very lazy. <laughs> Nepalese are lazy by nature and I am a meditator and you are alcoholic. No? So there is a lot of difference between us. I agree. 100%. But there is a common point. We are madly in love with this master. 
that is not even a question. If I was not madly in love with him, I would not have been there with him. I would not have taken the responsibility that I took. I would not have spent 39 months in prison. People think I betrayed Bhagwan. They're crazy. They can think what they want to. I said 39 months in prison because of his stupid statement. And still, I'm here talking about what I feel for him. It has, there are two different things. Today, my new book is announced by my own rules. This last 30 years, how I have lived my life, how I have gone through ups and downs since I left Bhagwan. I give a little window to look through my life. I must say, sometimes I hear comments of people, if they at all understood Bhagwan or understood the meaning of loyalty, they don't know what they are talking about, utter nonsense. You have allowed, in the name of surrender and meditation, you have lost Bhagwan and also Vivek. Where you could have, when Bhagwan was alive, come together and stood up to these people but you didn't. Now, I don't know if it is at all possible what uh, Iqbal says about how can we take back our inheritance, create a new inheritance, I would say to Iqbal. You get together, and you don't need Bhagwan's words. You don't need his photos. You go out and you create your own image of Bhagwan. And prove to these people there, capturing Bhagwan will not bring anywhere. You have to feel within you the burning desire to put back what has been lost. Find it and put it back. Sila, uh, uh, here also, I partly agree with you and there are point I disagree with you. Uh, let me be frank. You said that create a new world. Uh, you don't need his pictures. Uh, I think I have also created because I found hopeless. There is no chance that I could enter into commune, Kuna commune. They they have banned me. And, and, uh, they have banned one thousand people like me. Those who are those those who were the top. Uh, I joined also in 1969 when they. Some of them were not even born, no? I joined, and I, my association, association with Bhagwan is from for 51 years, and I, I, I have never looked back. Uh, every day, my love and my trust on him is increasing, no? So people like me, 1,000 people like me has been banned. They cannot enter into the community. So I agree with you. So we are not worried about it. I have created beautiful community here in Nepal, which you are seeing. <laughs> Uh, in Nepal, Silad is a poor country, a small country, smaller than the Indian state. 
but you will be surprised you know we have 12 beautiful communes 12 communes and 90 centers and close to 95000 sanyasi in a small country poor country and also i have i have initiated uh, ashrams and communes around the world about 100 centers small centers and some communes also i have been uh, inspired people they are running it but i was so so inspiration so i have given name and i initiate people into sanyas about 100 centers around the world and 95 centers in nepal but we are doing very well with his picture no so there i i disagree that you don't need his picture i need his picture because that is far be i fully understand you need his picture i too enjoy his photos beautiful man a man i was in love with and still i am in love with you misunderstood what i am trying to say what puna people stop you from it you don't need it yes. they come after you with their copyright stamp who needs it they want to put a stamp on my head because bhagwan touch my head ah uh ah -uh. i don't allow them to touch my head that is a sacred place bhagwan has touched this head it is a sacred place i don't offer them what i am trying to say is you have your copyrighted photos use it bhagwan is a public figure don't use the photos they have taken ila the problem is when bhagwan was in nepal i took hundreds of pictures of bhagwan even those picture when i put in my facebook my facebook had been closed so many time my friends close facebook who is assisting me was closed yesterday just because we are using the same picture which we have taken or my friends have taken in nepal they have they, it is not from their camera but they say that his face his picture whoever takes it is our covid eye and all his meditation is their trademark No? so several... i say that is a, he is a public figure as i understand copyright public figures uh can be used photos and especially they are for your private collection when bhagwan was in nepal it was your institute he was in it then they cannot claim it that's my understanding of course it means a big legal contest there and they have more financial possibilities than you have and that's where they are they have been gone from pune now for many months since the corona has gone out and they are still claiming the properties i don't understand it you know they they have sold a part of property and they have applied to the maharashtra religious trust board that because they cannot ashram without selling the property they have asked the permission to sell other property their main motive is to slowly sell the whole property they have already shifted the headquarters to uh, uh, switzerland and what can you call ireland ireland they no no uh, ireland they have already shifted the headquarter uh, bhagwan's all belongings his gowns you no know, his uh, personal belongings everything has been, even his signature all the books where he have signed they have told the first page of that and their signature has all has gone so there is nothing of bhagwan they are in pune except the buildings no 
so they want to sell the property also they have asked the permission to the uh, maharashtra trust that they are in financial trouble so they want to sell the they have already sold a part of property uh, a couple of years ago then in tam uh, sanyasi put a petition they wanted they have already negotiated the whole ashram to a trust chandni trust or some some trust in maharashtra trust they yeah already... yeah the shiv sena is in the power there maharashtra government and they are using it uh, totally corrupt uh, government corrupt people what are you going to do we are facing this problem this is the problem is there is not brave people like you who can speak no uh, especially in india uh, there is a great fear psychosis in nepal we speak little bit nepalese people are speaking we do nepalese people are doing the interview and they are they, they are bringing the truth uh, but in india there is such a big fear psychosis everybody knows the story that it was conspiracy vivek and bhagwan's death was not a normal death no but you sanyasins why are you hiding it you talk about it every one of you talk about it what happened to vivek what happened to bhagwan uh, when vivek comes and hugs you and says sir bhagwan you know vivek would otherwise never come and hug you okay at that time you should have spoken about it and gossip goes like wildfire uh, nothing, after... is, uh, nothing is uh, lost yet talk about it openly talk about everything that these people have done uh, to one another and let the story come out uh you sila you don't uh, i think you, you know or not i am talking it since 1986 when bhagwan was in body so when bhagwan was in kathmandu and in manali i have lived in manali for a few weeks with him and bhagwan was here for about 44 days in kathmandu and i had a very close proximity i used to meet him several time a day and i have seen the whole game and that time i smell things because when they were going to the bar and they were drinking in the night they were talking uh, about osho in a very different way and uh, uh, that created a suspicion in my mind no and i understood the whole game when he was here they bhagwan was here in for, for 44 day you don't know how much how much difficulty i had to face twice i was surrounded by local gunda they wanted to kill me no because i spoke to bhagwan i to i went into his room locked the room and told bhagwan that bhagwan i have a, i have a, i have a fear i have a doubt that people around you is not love uh, not for love or devotion or meditation they are here for some other reason and they may kill you i have told bhagwan in january 86 january 86 no and you know but i was surprised when i locked the room i i because it was not possible to go to bhagwan straight away there always secretary bhagwan said nilam uh, or uh, you have to take vivek or harshya no it was not allowed to go to bhagwan uh, without secretary but that day i dared i i enter i know when bhagwan was there i enter into room and lock the room and sit bhagwan was on chair i sat down on the floor and said bhagwan i have a fear i have a doubt then the people around you are for some other motives and your life is in danger and i fear that you may be killed you will be surprised when i so said to this to bhagwan i thought bhagwan will be surprised or he will agree or disagree with what i'm saying he or... probably said to you he knows he told me no what he told me i tell you the exact word we we were we were converting in hindi with bhagwan always we talked in hindi 
सो आई टोल्ड भगवान आपके जीवन पर खतरा देख रहा हूं मैं तो भगवान भगवान ने कहा कि लेकिन इसमें तुम क्या कर लोगे आई एम टेलिंग यू एग्जैक्ट वर्ड नो एंड दैट्स एग्जैक्टली आई वुड एक्सपेक्ट भगवान टू से दैट आई नो टुडे व्हाई भगवान अक्यूज मी ऑफ मिलियन थिंग्स टू सेव माय लाइफ फ्रॉम दिस गुंडास I know that. Yes, yes. When I said I'm going to leave to him, he was sad. He didn't want me to leave. But I had decided already to go. That's why you are alive. That's why we are talking, no? And he knew while people like you and me are alive. he remains alive yes yes now uh, silama bhagwan uh, when bhagwan asked lakshmi also drop lakshmi from organization in uh, in pune to and he was even even banned to enter into the ashram they they banned them the lakshmi he, he was sitting she was sitting in a medit uh, hall puddha hall then Nilam came and told her that you are not allowed. Bhagwan has asked you to leave, and you cannot sit in the meditation hall. I was there. It was very shocking to me that Bhagwan will be never so cruel to anybody to not to sit in meditation. But later on, I became clear that it is it was just to save Lakshmi's life. No, Lakshmi survived. These people will do that. That's why I say. you don't worry about taking puna back or uh, bhagwan's assets back you create your own uh, you, uh, you create your own uh, situation find paraphernalia of bhagwan that belong to you and they cannot claim that about bhagwan i was like i would like to tell you uh, immediately after bhagwan left his body i went to pune to collect his ashes because i wanted to make make a samadhi in himalaya and uh, we have a beautiful samadhi i will send you a picture here a picture we have made a very beautiful i am also civil engineer i am a designer so i have designed a very beautiful samadhi of osho it is already 20, it's a 20 Eight years old. No, that we immediately after his death we created samadhi. His body remains. I have distributed to other centers in Nepal, and we have three samadhi in Nepal, Nepal itself. And we have opened a commune in America also. We our own property is there. They call it Nirvana, and we are planning that the, once things are settled, we will make a samadhi over there, Osho samadhi. I want. I, I have I still keep keep his body remains. I have collected from Pune, and uh, I kept in a bank locker so that nobody can yes. And I my dream dream is that every country where there is Osho lover, if they have a commune, they have their property which dedicated to Osho. We I will design for them. We can make a beautiful samadhi of Osho because in Pune this Amrito announce on. 19 january that bhagwan has said that his samadhi will be within chaunsu now they say there is no samadhi in chaunsu they have removed also picture i i know? have heard about this situation a bit uh, from different people but i would say you don't need it you don't need any of it you put your love for bhagwan wherever you are and you start your beginning sila uh, i am 77 year old so it is not my beginning it is my last chapter <laughs> that is true you are 71 year old me too 77. i want i am 77 <laughs> 77 oh, well you are in a, you're looking in excellent health and i am 71 and i am still in good health 
But what I am saying to young people around you, make them independent. Give them something that makes them independent, not traditional. Bhagwan was a modern man. He broke all traditions of all other uh, religion or spirituality or whatever. If your young people understand and become strong in themselves to move forward with Bhagwan's teachings. And without copyright also, there are enough Bhagwan's teachings floating around. From, they don't have to know the complete teachings of Bhagwan. One thing from this entire smorgasbord of his teaching, take, pick one that suits you and you can build Taj Mahal on it. You can build the best Samadhi on it or a best temple on it or best Buddha Mandir on it. In my house, I don't have Buddha Mandir here, but I have Dimens Mandir. And Dimens Mandir is dedicated to my parents and Bhagwan. So take something that you like about Bhagwan's teachings, or you fall in love with him, or you like his intellect, whatever it is, and tell them to build their own Uh, monument on it. I think that that would scare these people. There are, as you say, you have 96,000 people. 96,000 people take one teaching of Bhagwan. You can bring flood of Bhagwan in the area. That's how I see it. Uh, uh, Sheila, uh, if you have a opportunity to visit this country or otherwise, other friend will, my friend will inform you. In Nepal, there is already a flood of Osho. Wonderful. Now bring tsunami there. Yeah, that, that's, that's right. That's right. That's right. You, you, I, I'm, I'm very happy to inform you that Nepalese commune are inaugurated by president of Nepal. Some commune are inaugurated by prime minister of Nepal. I have been awarded by the president of Nepal for doing best social service. No, so Osho is recognized in this country, and we are we print Osho book in spite of the threat from Pune. We print Osho book. I have printed 150 book of Osho and I'm selling it at cost price. All 150 book people can buy at the cost of 1.2 pound. 1.2 pound, uh, pound, they can buy any book, no? So, so at the cost price, I'm uh, 1.2 I'm sorry. In the Indian rupees 100, they can buy any book, 100 rupees, no? So I'm, uh, that was the dream of Bhagwan in Pune too. You wanted that the book should be available at cost price. So, Nobody should make any profit on his book. So that dream I have fulfilled. And whole Nepal, you will go to any book store, you will find Osho book. In Nepal, Osho is very popular, very respected. For 50 years, I worked for him. I started with a small center. Now I have a very dedicated team of people. Uh, I have initiated. Make use of it and move forward with your tsunami. That's my idea of lighting a fire. 
Yes, good, good. Your good word, tsunami. I will pass this word to my friends in Nepal. The flood is, now in Nepal is flooded with rain also. So <laughs> I will inform my friend that uh, rain, flood of Osho is not enough. Sheila wants tsunami of Osho. <laughs> Absolutely. And it's not only Nepal, uh, wherever I have traveled, uh, I met you in Germany. Uh, uh, now I go quite, f uh, mostly I visited Russian country, Eastern Europe country, and all, most all Western country, uh, European country, and North American country. There we, everywhere I went, I have opened a center. I have initiated thousands of people in every country, wherever I have been, and I have opened a center. So there are 100 centers outside Nepal. They are also very active. They know they know the whole story of this, uh, uh, what we are talking about. They know the whole story. And so they are not afraid of OIF. They are running this center. The problem is this. Our Facebook are closed. Even if we put a small picture of Osho, you see the small picture of Osho behind? If that appears in my Facebook, they close my Facebook. My Facebook had 1,25,000, 1, 125,000 followers. Three, four times they have closed my Facebook, my friend's Facebook, YouTube. So we cannot use his words. We cannot display his meditation. They say all meditation is their trademark. No, I know, you know already, they don't have any paper. It, it's a just, just a false statement that they have a copyright. You know the whole story. They have nothing, but they have created such a havoc in the world that even in the West, people are so afraid, you know, of legal problem. They are very afraid of legal problem. So whenever I say that you uh, you can put Osho name in your center, they say, no, they say Osho is their uh, uh, trademark or their registered copyright. Why Bhagwan, we know him as Bhagwan. Why Osho? Call him Bhagwan. Because call him uh, Rajneesh, call him, hey, you, it doesn't matter. Yes, yes, Sheila, but it is not a surprise that in 21st century, we can name any guru. We can name Raman Maharshi, Arvindo, Shiva, Krishna, Jesus, but we cannot take name of my own master. No, uh, is it not a surprise? And we are... There is such a fear psychosis, I find, not only in India, even in the West, you know, people are so much afraid. They, they, are, they want to, don't want to speak on the mic. They will speak in the room. Yes, there is a conspiracy. Uh, Osho has not given any copyright. But they said, I, we don't want to go to legal problem, Arun, uh, so don't quote me anywhere. And they will not come in public. So their whole India is suffering from fear psycho psychosis. All India, all any Indian Sanyasi except few. Nobody is there to speak, you know, about this conspiracy. And even in the West, even in the West, people are afraid. They don't want to go into legal action. You know how much problem they have created in Germany. Okay, Sanyasi was running the Ram Tirtha. He was running a center. Several years, they call, uh, they push him into the uh, legal court, and he spent all his money because they have a money power. Uh, uh, small commune don't have money, so ultimately he got frustrated. You know, you remember Santar, who was a great keeper in Pune one, Santar, Punjabi guy, tall figure. Huh? So he was used to, used to crack jokes about Santar. Santar in France, he, he has a French girlfriend. He was both were in great love with Osho. So they translated Osho book in French, many books, and they printed, I, I don't know how many, two, uh, two, two dozen books in French, no? To, say, to print the book, the lady, the girlfriend was so much in love, she sold her house because there was no money, and printing in France is very expensive, you know. So they printed two, about 24 books, selling their house. Then they, they they were dragged into the court and uh, Santo was so much in trouble. Do you know the ultimate, uh, Santa, has to, Santa has to say sorry and they had to uh, say apology. 
then the OIF said that you first burn all the book, then only we will pardon you. So all his French book was burned in Paris. No? So they go to a protected. But talk about this event. So people become aware, people think nonsense. You know, they think uh, uh, surrender means tolerating the uh, torture. No, that's not what Bhagwan taught us. Talk about it. No, I, Don't I'm... hide the events. Iqbal knows I'm talking it since 35 years. Even before Osho's death, three years before Osho's death, me he had a doubt that there is a conspiracy around Bhagwan and the people have a different motive. So Lakshmi also told Bhagwan, and I also told Bhagwan whenever I had the opportunity. But I told you, Bhagwan knew it. He said, Is it kya kar You know? And then in, in Nepal, I said that Bhagwan here, I know of some politician, and that time. The Prime Minister of Nepal was also a also lover. So I told him that now we can put you into police security. Police will give you security. I can go. And my one of my relatives was very high officer in police. So I said, I can go and I can get a police security for you. No? Then Bhagwan said that um, no Buddha in police security. That we don't do that. No? Well, there's a big story when I was saying that Vivek started banging the door, you know, Vivek, you know, Vivek, how innocent or uh, she was. She has started banging the door mm -hmm. and because the other guys had told her that Arun is talking in Bhagwan in privacy and Arun is very suspected man, people, he may kill Bhagwan, you know. So Vivek started knocking at the door and she was ready to break the door. Then I had to open and then she was so furious on me why you have kept he told your name that even Sheila had never locked the room when we were talking to Bhagwan and you have a dare to lock the room and <laughs> you Bhagwan. She, she told me that you may kill Bhagwan no and she was so furious that Bhagwan gave me a signal that you just go no then then Bhagwan next time he, he called me and he said Arun, don't I was going to police to give him police protection then Bhagwan called me I, I was in the lobby in the hotel then Bhagwan called me and said, where were you going? I said, I was going to the prime prime minister and keep you into the police protection. Bhagwan said, that way you will spoil my work. Bhagwan said, no Buddha has lived in police protection. Let me handle it my own way. So that so I know that Bhagwan knew already that he is in a bad company and uh, his life is in danger. He knew it very well. Yeah, unfortunate, but that's how life is now. What can I say? We, when we want to do something, we individually have to do it and um, light the fire. Yes, uh, as you have written in Sila, the last line of this book, I like it very much that he has left his body in 1990. 1990, he has left his body, but don't kill him. He has left his body, but his teaching is there. His legacy is there. You know, his dreams are there. So don't kill his dream. Don't kill his vision. No? Now, the people who have killed Bhagwan, they are not happy just by killing Bhagwan. They want to kill all his vision, all his dreams. They all they want to. They are. They have removed even pictures from Bhagwan's book. No, no Bhagwan's book can. Uh, nobody can print a book with his picture on the front page. You no. Know? So they hate him so much. They don't want even the Bhagwan's picture in any any of book. But they want to earn the earn the money. Royalty they take twenty percent. They are, want to earn the money, but they don't want to that his picture should appear on the front page. So I'm I'm not silent. I, uh, my nephew friend will tell you, Alikwal will tell you, I'm shouting since last 30 years. But I know you know I'm in the last chapter of my life. I'm already 77, you know? 
uh, I'm tired. I don't see any response in India. I have requested every old sannyasi, every recognized sannyasi, those who consider themselves Buddha enlightened, you know, the enlightened business is very common in India. So the mostly enlightened sannyasi are, I've requested them that please speak, at least we should make a joint statement that there is no copyright. Allow, you can run Pune as you like, but let, let give me freedom to run our own center. Give me freedom to do uh, our work. Don't uh, close our website. But but uh, they cannot close your center. They in Nepal are we are safe, but they have bright. They have also played money game. Many of my sannyasi, you know. When you live a big community, sometimes some sannyasi becomes against you, goes against you. You know that business, no? When you have a big crowd, we are 97, 95,000 sannyasi. So sometimes somebody goes against me. So they immediately tap him, no? And I have to face very court cases because my sannyasi is giving so many bad things in the internet. So I have to fight a, a, a court case. I want it. I have just won it. They were putting so many rocks. They wanted to close the ashram because what they say, Sila, they say that money is a great power in 21st century. And Nepal and India is a poor country. With money, you know, they have purchased politicians in India. They have purchased police in India. No? So they have a confidence that they, with money, they can do anything in poor country. Huh? So with- Probably their perception is also co uh, correct because governments are corrupt. They have no money. They want to be in power, earn money. It is same as what Trump is doing in US, but still, what we have to do, we have to be clever. And we have to flood the region. If you have 95,000 people doing something, they cannot go after 95,000 people in court individually. And everybody has to do something individually. Yes, Sila, uh, in Nepal, uh, they, they cannot close our ashram. Uh, in average, this is a corona crisis period. Otherwise, in average, every year, around six new ashram opens up in Nepal, in every year, uh, roughly. And I initiate about 2,000 young people into New Sanyash every year with mala and all uh, their style. We, 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 we still all, we are the old orange and mala as, as we were doing in Punawan or Rajinspuram. No? So we initiate 2000 people and in Nepal, although they have played with money, they, they have bribed some officers to give us problems and some sannyasi were purchased and they, they created problem for us. But by the grace of Osho, I'm a devotee, uh, I, you are an alcoholic, but I'm a devotee, no? So I will always say that by the grace of Osho, I am protected. I am protected. He is protecting us. He is protecting them. So don't Definitely. fear. Definitely. And it is good that you feel that way. Yeah, I feel very much. He, 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 he is our foundation. He is our dream. He is our protector. He has built such a beautiful view. The ashram in Nepal, Nepal is a poor country, but we have a ashram like Rajispuram. Our, you can see our dining hall. We can, 200 people can eat at a time. You see our meditation, such a beautiful, our guest house, our rooms are like five-star hotel. No? So in poor country, this thing is possible only because of his grace and his love and his exactly. strength. Exactly. I have no... Uh argument about what you feel but what i am saying if you want to do something collective as your desire is to figure out a way collectively to get together and do something 
only way is ignore these uh, money mongers and you continue your work as you do. Good advice. We are, we, we are doing accordingly and we'll, with your advice, um, I'm more confident. I, I, uh, we are very, very much excited in Nepal and in Nepal, Osho is known in every corner. Almost every district in Nepal have a center and almost every village in Nepal, we have a sannyasi. Huh? A Wonderful. Small, we are a small country, but if you, if you come, uh, if, uh, when people come from foreign country, they are surprised at the, uh, at the uh, immigration. When they write down, they have come to visit Tapoban, they are given a special treatment and they, they are respectfully, they are uh, received, no? So they are surprised that this is also country or what, no? And anywhere you go with Mala, you have a privilege, no? People respect you, that, that you are a good people. So in Nepal, uh, by the grace of Osho, we have earned a very good way. Thank you. Wonderful. I congratulate you on that. Keep your politician and the party is good in your hand that they, they don't obstruct your work. And yeah. keep those uh, goons outside Nepal. No, but they are here, Sila. You, as you know, Nepal is a poor country and money has a great power. So sometimes some of our sannyasis are purchased uh, and they create problem for us. And you know, to keep 95,000 people together is also not an easy job. Sometimes some people get angry for you for no reason, you know? Also Let them be angry. If they become angry, you can't do anything anyway. So ignore, ignore them. As I say, I don't need anyone's approval for who I am, what I am, and how I am living life. I don't want to change anybody's opinion. I have my own. I know myself. I know how I feel, what I feel. I don't need any rubber stamp of anybody. And I live life for myself with my own rules. This book will be available at a Penguin Random House in India. You can pre-order it directly to the publisher or you can order it through Amazon. And I've also heard that the Bollywood is making a film on your life. No, I'm very happy to know that. Huh? How did, how yes, did yes not only that, there is a new film coming out uh, about my trip to India on Netflix before end of the year, as I understand. So, I, I request all sannyasi in Marshila, we were privileged that we joined Osho when we were, we were young. You were also very beautiful and young. You were a, a queen in the ashram. I remember those days, no? no? Some journalists call me the first lady of Radnishpuram. <laughs> There's so many nasty things about me, but they still honor me as a first lady of so, Radnishpuram. So, Sila, we were, we were privileged that we joined him when, when we were young, no? And uh, we, we had the privilege that we, could, we have seen him in physical body and we have also personal contact with him. We have been able to touch him many times, no? So I consider, and you are, we are considered very fortunate. But the new generation who has not seen him, who know through, know also through you and me or through his books, no? They get confused when they see this whole game, why you are fighting with your own headquarter, no? Puna, they still consider that they are headquarter. So they get confused. And my request 
to you and to all my listener of this program is that we could not save his body no i i tried i from 1986 i created uh, I, I, I talked to all the people that Bhagwan life is in danger, but nobody believed me. Nobody believed me, no. So I could not protect his physical body, but at least I should protect his legacy, his sannyas movement, his uh, dream of creating a new man, new new man, humanity, a commune where people can live without any discrimination, uh, dropping their nationality or their religious discrimination. So those dreams. Are more dear to Osho, so we have we could not protect his body. We, he will not come back again in physical body. But in teaching, we should be protected. That's the whole project of my life, whole purpose of me living, is just to protect his sannyas movement and his dream of commune. And I that's why I open up every year some new center, new commune wherever wherever I go. And his book should be available with his picture, no. He, he is not a criminal that his picture should be hidden, no? Well, <laughs> you have to ask that question to people who are hiding his pictures, you know? Using for you, alcoholic, alcoholic, they listen to alcoholic. You are not alcoholic, you are alcoholic, you are working so hard. Workaholic. <laughs> Some people understand. But I am not workaholic either because I'm not addicted to work. Yeah. I enjoy working. That's good. It That's brings good. me good health. <laughs> but I don't mind being called workaholic also. It's out of love. This is out of love. <laughs> I don't mind that at all. People call me many names. <laughs> Workaholic is an honor. <laughs> no, you were working so hard no, to create. I have created, I'm managing a commune in Nepal. I'm committed, I'm committed to manage few communes in Nepal. No? Uh, I know how difficult it is to run a small commune. Here in our commune, we are 90 people live permanently. And we have visitors from 80 different countries. They come to visit us. We have accommodation for about 300 people at the moment. So a small, this is a very small community compared to Rajishpuram. But I face so much problem just running a small commune. No? So many psychological problems, ego problem. Now, because of Corona crisis, we are facing financial problem also. Because we don't have guests, we don't have contribution. So we have to feed people who are there. Number 90 people are always living permanently here and we have electric bills and things like that. So we have to face so many problems. So I know it's not a, I can understand your problem to create a city in a Oregon was not a easy job. One thing Silab, I, I would like to tell you, in the state of Oregon, if you would have been in California, Maybe California people are more liberal than Oregonians. What is your idea? Um, it is not a question of where we would go. No matter where we would go, people would react mm -hmm. in the same way. People have fear of something new. And Bhagwan was not popular in real sense, through politician or the uh, public opinion, he was not popular. Our first problem began with Los Angeles Times. After we arrived in uh, Radnishpuram, first 90 days we had no problem but mayor of antelope her son worked for los angeles times and she told that some people have moved in and they all dress in orange 
And because he was a journalist, he figured it out and he got this German uh, uh, newspaper from Spiegel and Stern with Eva Renzi and encounter groups in Pune. And that's where it all went, started getting problems. That created a fe uh, fear into people. Yeah. But that was Bhagwan's way of working. We cannot think in retrospect. Bhagwan knows, was not a man of retrospect. He was the man of the moment. And what has to be done today should have been already finished last year. He was a man of urgency. And you can understand why urgency? Because of the people who he had around him. The danger you had felt, the same danger I had felt, and Bhagwan was aware of this danger. Now, together, uh, and all the listeners who are watching this program, uh, is it not our duty? He, he, as you have mentioned in your book, that his body, he has left his body, but we should not kill him. We should protect his legacy. We should protect his vision and his dream of communes and a new man, free man, free from all the the conditioning of mind and religion and nationality. Of course, we should create that. I live like I used to live in Rajneshpuram and work like that. You can ask Iqbal. Iqbal has come to my house a number of times. In my little organization here, I have 15 nationalities living together. And we live wonderful, very harmonious lifestyle. And wherever I am invited to speak about Bhagwan or about his teachings, or for some other reason I'm invited, I always speak about what I have learned from Bhagwan. How I feel about Bhagwan. These day you have become very popular on TV and on YouTube. Now I see many of your interview. So uh, congratulations, you are becoming very, very popular. Thank you. And that's what I'm saying. We all have to do something, find something that works for each individual from Bhagwan's teaching and move forward. The fear psychosis, which I see, especially in India, India is very profound fear psychosis. Everybody is afraid to speak. They will speak to you in privacy, but they don't want to come on YouTube or like, like we are talking in open. They don't want to come in public, but in privacy, they say, yes, there will be conspiracy and Bhagwan was killed. Everybody is saying in India, but they will not come in into the public. Don't waste time after these people. They are cowards. And cowards should not be spoken to. That is how I feel. It's a waste of time. So many people are writing uh, their uh, days with Osho, uh, uh, on their uh, sannyas history of how they live in Rajitpuram or how, to, how they live in Pune. One, uh, many Indian sannyasi are writing. So I request them because they 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 don't write about this conspiracy. They are afraid. They don't write about the injustice which we are we are facing. 
they don't want, want to use the word. So I request them that I understand you are afraid. They are their fears. Like many people have been killed, like Vivek was killed, no? Or Juan was killed. So people are people have a great fear that I can understand. So I said that okay, you write down one chapter, untold story, and give it to some trusted friend. If you trust me or Tapuvan, give it to me. We will print it after your life. When you are dead, then we will print it. But truth should come. When you are alive, you are afraid. That I can understand. But write down untold story, real story, and give it to your son or your daughter. If you, if you trust, give it to some friend and ask them to print it after your life. Even after, because now we are all, those who are with Osho in young age, we are all over 70. You know, and within a decade or two, all of us will be gone. You know? So at least truth should be there. You know? Somebody should record it. And it should, it should be revealed that how Osho was killed, in the conspiracy was bigger than the Jesus. Jesus Christ was crucified. Everybody knows who crucified Jesus Christ. You know? But Osho was crucified in a more heinous way, you know? in a more dangerous way. The people who crucified Jesus, Osho, they become his successor. Those who crucified Jesus, they didn't become his successor. But those who have crucified Osho, they each other they said, Bhagwan to catch these eyes, they said that I leave my dream to him, or he is my successor. He or she will be my messenger. No, all three people divided everything. So, so it is the biggest conspiracy uh, happened, happened. And it, 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 in 21st century, nobody is speaking against it. They have money, they can buy law, they can buy politicians, they can buy police. So they, they are assured that nobody can do anything to them. And what about sannyasis? Some sannyasis say, oh, humko to dhyan karna isse humko kya I have to just do meditation. But if you love somebody, if somebody of your family has been killed, I ask them, would you say that I have to dhyan karna hai? Police mein nahi jate. Agar aapka bhai ki mirti ho jati, ya aapke pita ji ki mirti ho jati, aap police mein nahi jate. Us mein aap kahate ki dhyan karna hai. When something happened to you, you go to the police or you go to the authority, but when, when it comes to Bhagwan, say no, no, boss, wo jo karte the sab unki ichha se hi hota tha, wo to param param pramand the, unhone mrtu ko bhi khud hi bulaya, wo sab natural hai, humko to dhyan karna hai, isse humko matlab nahi. This is a common sentence I hear in India from my old friends, and I feel feel great pain, pain. I don't know how to help you there, Arun. I am uh, speechless on this issue. Uh, I have no interest in uh, fighting with these uh, people, these crimin criminals. Well, calls me criminal, but they are bigger criminal than I am. And uh, it's not a... Uh, I don't want to waste my time. I rather display Bhagwan through my hard work, which I do. And I will continue till my last day. Uh, Sila, I have a question. If you don't mind, can I ask you a question? Yeah, please. Comes to your mind that if you have, you have left Rajesh Puram, even if you see that some fall game was going happening, but if you could have stayed there, even if they have removed you from uh, president of Rajesh Foundation, but if you could have stayed there in Rajesh Puram, you could have helped Bhagwan. Leaving Rajesh Puram, don't you think was a too hurried? No. I tried my very best to persuade Bhagwan to get away from drugs. And Bhagwan told me, don't interfere. You stay out of it. And uh, his command I, as a secretary, was, I had to accept. 
but he never told you to go out of rajeshpuram he wanted no 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 he never told me in fact he said go to germany go to europe stay in europe and raise money for me that was his answer i was not ready to raise money for him anymore so that he can do more drugs and buy more tin cans rolls royces i will differ there because rolls royce does not belong to him it belong to rajdeesh uh, foundation no and let no. me you don't know that uh, uh, trust and corporations we 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 had created these were cars purchased only for bhagwan and bhagwan's use only we created a trust called car collection bhagwan personally for tax reason could not own anything but it was everyone's understanding it was bhagwan's car but it didn't go to his family uh, after no, bhagwan no you don't understand in america you can have trust and trust can ha have ownership and this can be public trust that can be private trust and car collection was a private trust but it was sold in 6. Point, i heard that it was sold for 6.9 million dollar after osho left uh, rajeshpuram and the money was not used by his family money was used by these people who are running the show no clark clark sam it was not money of his family either yes. but he didn't own anything he didn't own he used now bhagwan if bhagwan owns something then he has to pay taxes so it is it is a complex legal event i would agree with you if you tell me that the money these people have privately digested it that i would agree that they sold the cars and digested it not a small money 6.9 million dollars and right. no rajesh puram was sold i have visited rajesh but puram but i should tell you the cars we had bought were more than 12 million dollars and they sold it for so they had to sell it on half price because they were in hurry and they didn't have any pain for it no they have not paid for anything so you know you oh. do you know how many for how many they sold rajeshpuram i visited rajeshpuram in 2012 uh, or 13 no uh, Uh, when I went to Oregon for camp, I, I visited Rajeshpuram, and I was told by the villager of the people there that the negotiation was happening for whole land and house between. They were uh, uh, asking for one point hundred fifty million dollar, and the buyer was giving hundred ten million dollar. So the one person who was in in deal, he told me. that it was sold some somewhere between 110 and 150 million dollars yeah they so, became rich it is okay it is okay i am not bothered by it you are also rich your your ashram is very rich i have seen your ashram you you, you have all, all all the gadget for for good living so we are also rich <laughs> you know i have created this with very hard work i, I, i have not borrowed any money from anybody i created this work on my own strength if i could manage radnishpuram with all madness of bhagwan in it this is something from my own existence 
And that was the logic I used. I said, Sheila, you have to get back on your feet. And I managed it and I'm grateful that existence gave me opportunity to manage it. And I still work at the age of 70 quite hard. So this interview also, with, uh, you, have, you have been spared your time for this interview because you're a hard working person. Your time is very tight. Yeah. tight. But you have spared this time for interview. Even this interview will create some awareness among the people who are listening to it or listen to it in YouTube will create some awareness and they they will come forward. I hope they will come forward to save it. But once legacy and your title of your book, don't kill him, no? This is my old autobiography, uh, but my new book is already for pre-orders, which is by my own rules. By my own rules. Yes, it is published by Penguin Random House, and I ask all your viewers if they want to know how, what kind of ups and downs I have gone to create this ashram, as you call it, uh, you can read in it and maybe get courage to create your own. Uh, also speak to our young people who have not seen Bhagwan, and uh, we are privileged that you are very privileged that you have lived so close to Bhagwan. So uh, create love in our young 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 people. When you tell about drugs and things, they get confused. No, so I don't, don't have to get confused. This uh, confusion is to put Bhagwan on a pedestal. Then they will eventually hate him. No, you have to accept Bhagwan as a total package. Good, bad, and ugly. Then you can, without fear, talk about him. You can talk about your love. That's why the mothers who only talk about their children's uh, good points and don't expose the deficit or what has gone wrong with them, they have difficulty growing up. Yeah, but one and, thing. Huh? We we live in mind, Sheila, you and me and all many of us, we live in mind. An enlightened master like Osho does not live in mind. He lives beyond mind. So if he... This acts, is, uh, Arun, I have to disagree with you. This is your imagination. This is your understanding of enlightenment. And I could care less Bhagwan was enlightened or the not. He was a man I loved. So, he yeah. was king of my heart. And for me, I don't have to pretend that he's enlightened. No, I was happy that he was a man, man with qualities and man with follies. Sheila, I, will I tell don't you. need a perfect man. Sila, I will tell you, let's agree to disagree. As a friend, let us agree to disagree. You can disagree with me and allow me also to disagree with you. To me, in, yes. my, my, in my eye, Osho is a greatest incarnation after Buddha. After Buddha, he is a greatest incarnation. And he was a man, he was a god in a human body. You know? And he can inspire people and can, can create many ashram and many meditators and many enlightened people. He just, he, he said, I'm a beginning. I'm a beginning of his 
as a new era no so he he is a pioneer of a new school of meditators i consider him my guru my master and i can also no limitation of my mind i analyze three things through my mind but somebody who live beyond mind you know i i cannot understand him. i i i i i follow him also since 51 year but still he surprises me when i read his book every day he surprises me you know and new thing comes to me so i, I can never adjust him there never never a time will come in my life when i will say i have understood him he is always a mystery for me and he will always remain a mystery for me always remain so something which i can my mind cannot analyze you know because he is speaking sometimes he says that i am speaking for the akashic record maybe people who will come after 2000 years they will understand it many times people say that you you will not understand it now but the people will come in future they will understand buddha also said the heart sutra when he was saying he, i said that nobody will understand uh, you but it will understand people in the future so osho is a messiah of the future no in the present time people will misunderstand him let let them misunderstand him but my love says that he will be understood many many years after when humanity will become become more mature more open more receptive then all this game which people are playing the people the religious or the religious people they call themselves religious uh, fanatic religious people have killed osho and the one day their game will be exposed i we are exposing is their game then people will understand a time will come i say to you arun that i have no dispute with your beliefs how do you perceive osho i have nothing to say about it but i must say my truth and my truth is i don't need a god to love i'm happy to have a man a beautiful man bhagwan with his qualities and with his failures and this should not bring anybody confusion people must have enough courage in love to see the failures or the faults of the loved one ila i thank you very much you are so liberal that you have accepted that we are free to disagree no <laughs> no, we agree to disagree. <laughs> so that's your humbleness, and that your greatness. I salute your humbleness that you are ready to disagree. No, so let me have my own convinced uh, feeling about Bhagwan. I consider him like a Buddha. No, his work, his teaching, marvelous work which he has done for the world. No, it is not less than the contribution of Buddha. So. I no. I fully accept it. I have no problem with it. I never had a conflict with it. It is your thing. You must do it. That's what I said. Everyone has to find their little click and move forward. And you are doing it with your click. I have no dispute. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I thank you also. um around that um, we had had a open conversation ikbal you didn't have much chance to talk but maybe some other time we can talk and the two young men also didn't have much time this you want to talk ikbal you got to say something closing closing words remarks it was it was a beautiful interview and i really hope two three times in a year we will continue this kind of thing you know sheila is a fire of truth and you are a heart of gold so when the fire of truth and the heart of gold, they meet together 
it creates a beautiful energy, energy evolution. And we need people. You know, just meditation is not in just meditation is not. We need a commitment to truth, the integrate the soul, and the integrate the soul comes when heart and the courage, meditation and love meet. And this is what O has told us: love meditation together, not just their meditation, which Indians are pre- creating parrots. And I really hope, minimum three, four times a year, Sheila and Arun meet, and few other people join, because. We love you all. When you once you love Shro and his work and his vision, suddenly you feel for the whole humanity. And this is what I call the master. He opens our eyes, and we all feel beautifully. God bless us all. Namaste. Thank uh, you, Iqbal. Uh, Masila, uh, I like to uh, say a few words. Uh, you mentioned about uh, your book. Uh, Uh, there was two books coming. I, as I remember, the uh, Nothing to Lose, and there's this one that you sent this morning. By my um, own rules. By my own rules, and also about uh, also doing drugs. Uh, we come or we come from tradition, or we heard the story that even uh, Shiva used to do all oh, this yeah. uh, ganja, marijuana, all this. So we ha- don't have any problem. And if he had done it, uh, we accept that as well. And I think there was many discourse where he had go- given the discourse in uh, doing the laughing gas or something. And it was also very beautiful. So we accept him in any dimension, any form or this. And we are uh, meditator, or we people who are in love with us who are kind of a uh, spiritual uh, junkie ourselves we couldn't get uh, over him like i am happy time, to i am happy to by. that you are not confused <laughs> time flies by this. and uh, we could never get uh, tired of that uh, divine nature and thanks for coming and in future we like to invite you again where other participants and viewers can talk and ask the question and have a uh, conversation if time and everything permits. My pleasure, my pleasure. Yes, Ma, Sheila and Swami Rundi, uh, thank you for coming here, giving us the time and in a way passing the torch to us, the newer generations who are coming now. And also Swami Arunji is also releasing some books uh, pretty soon. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> yeah, Next, onto, you told the story about Osho. The untold story of Osho. Which they, story of Osho? I've written already the first part. They, <laughs> they wonder with Osho. The first part, I think somebody should send a copy to Shila. Uh, I've written uh, in wonder with Osho and uh, one lone secret many master. Two, Uh, there are few books in Nepali, few in Hindi, but these two books are translated in many languages, Japanese, in Russian. Okay. Somebody, so I'm writing another book, Untold Story, where I will narrate all these stories which I, we are discussing now. Okay. It would be a pleasure to read it someday. We are waiting for a book from Iqbal Singh Ji as well. <laughs> How wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Then my life in germany moment of uh, <laughs> you know, uh, I, 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 my blog Rao. has been very famous I, i speak my video every day i write my post every day basically you can say my blog on the facebook is a uh, rebellious you know i express. don't uh, have facebook uh, and uh, i don't deal with it But, but in general, you know, it gives big satisfaction instantly. And somewhere you say, I am in mafia my own Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for me, you know, uh, I'm not so good with digital lifestyle. And uh, the social media, the trash that comes on social media, uh, I have no nerves for it. Uh, yes, so we, uh, we, I think we end this interview with this beautiful from the church. 
You see? <laughs> <laughs> That's a very good sign. Thank you. Uh, I also wanted to say that uh, us, the future generation, since now you guys have done your part, you guys did whatever you could at the time and still are doing it. For us, the newer generation uh, living here in the West, there is a decline in Osho uh, teachings, meditation. Wonderful. I'm happy to hear that and keep up the good work. Uh, there is a decline here, but we want to somehow share his work in the future, uh, if possible, if, you know, God willing. Uh, but we hear all these stories of all these closing Facebook down. We cannot even use Osho's picture. It very demoralizes us to do any of his work. What are your suggestions for this? How do you overcome this fear and discouragement? Um. I think I didn't between the um, I didn't hear your question well. Uh, yes, Mashila, uh, us the newer uh, generations want to uh, share Osho's work. You know, do something here in the West as well. But we most of the time get discouraged by all these politics uh, behind Osho's work. All these uh, people closing Facebook down. Uh, we cannot even use his pictures. How to overcome this and continue sharing this love, this uh, meditation that Osho has given to us? I think by remaining open yourself, uh, you can only give out the fragrance of a beautiful flower when flower opens. So you have to open up yourself. You have to become open. And when you are open, fragrance will move forward itself. Uh, thank you, Marcila. Thank you, uh, Swamiji. Thank you, uh, Iqbalji. Thank you, Subarna, and all our viewers. And we'll uh, keep this. Uh, We'll uh, do, uh, continue our conversation again in uh, with Masila in future. Thanks, uh, everybody. Swami Arunji, any final words from you? I'm I'm, I'm very happy. Uh, I got this opportunity uh, to meet a very old friend of mine, Masila. Uh, uh, we have worked under uh, her in the Pune one. And uh, I'm running this commune exactly on the style of Puna One, Marshila. I, I run Puna One. We, we have vegetarian meal. We don't have alcohol or eggs. And we still wear orange clothes. So, so just like Puna One. So we have learned from um, Puna One. And Sheila was a great.